Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a fun little project with you. I created this project specifically for Scraps of Love in Peoria, Arizona. I'm going to be teaching this cute little Christmas folio here using some really adorable paper that was designed by Samantha from Scraps of Love. And um, it's got the cute gnomes and the bright little happy colors. Uh, I'm going to teach this at Scraps of Love and I'm going to put links in the description box. You can contact the store to get signed up. My last little project for 2019, I'm going to be teaching this, and I think the date's December 1st, but call the store just to double check, but that's what I have on my calendar. So it's going to be really fun. The folio measure is 5 inches by 8 inches. It's going to be a quick little project. Um, I've cut down one of the cut aparts here um, and just put it on some black cardstock, mounted it up here, punched out some cute little snowflakes with a snowflake punch. This is some uh, pixie dust glitter paper from Lawn Fawn. Again, um, I used four sheets of the papers. And there's two sheets were cut apart. And then there was a red polka dot. And then there was a blue polka dot. And you'll see that. And then I did also add a doodlebug solid green that matched the collection. I got some cute little ribbon here. Here's the spine. I used um, another piece of the red polka dot here. This is the green doodlebug right here. And then here is the back with the cute little gnomes and the cactuses and the just adorable paper. And then I had to use this on the back. This is Merry Christmas from the Desert. So it's a ribbon closure. Again, it measures five inches by eight inches. It has a one inch spine. It's a take on my waterfall folio, but it's a little bit different. So on the left side, I've got a little pocket right here. Again, another solid green doodlebug, the polka dot, and cute little snowflake. And these are some of the cut aparts here. Again, I cut this one down. It was three by four. I cut it down to, I think it's maybe three by two and three quarters. A cute little gnome and the cactus. And then here's another one. It says gnome for the holidays, cute little cactus, and cute little gnome. And then they're plain on the back so you can add your photos. This one I just glued down because I thought it was adorable. So there's a magnet closure here. This flips open. And over here I have a cute little side pocket here with some more of the papers layered up. And then I have some cut aparts in here. So this collection's all about the cut aparts. I mean, they were adorable. Absolutely adorable. You'd be great for cards, but I wanted to do a folio. So this is Merry Christmas right there. And these are three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So you can put a photo there. I had a piece of this paper left, so I wanted to make a cute little skinny tag with that. This was a three by four card that I had a piece of the blue polka dot left. So I just layered it on top and made a larger photo mat right there. So those are just going to go right back in here in this little side pocket. Such adorable paper. Sam did such a great job designing this. Oh my goodness. So it's exclusive to Scraps of Love, this collection. So if you want it, you got to call the store and get it. It's adorable. So on the, um, behind the flap, I have another pocket here. And then again, I used the cute little paper here with the um, white background and the cute little cactus. is Merry Christmas all over it. And then again, this was another um, cutout that I just put on black cardstock and glued it down here. It says Warm Winter Wishes. I think this was the reverse side of this collection, I think, but don't quote me. Three by four cut apart, says Merry Christmas. I had a leftover piece of this I trimmed down to three by four, and then another cut apart. And again, they're plain in the back, so you can add your cute little pictures of all your little gnomes at Christmas time. <laughs> so cute. So then on the right side, again, I have another cute little pocket here. This is a three by four card that I put again and made it a, on black card suck and just glued it down on three sides to make it a pocket. Here's another cute little cut apart, and I did cut this one down as well. I made the, the, I cut this one down to three and a quarter by three. I just trimmed off the, the verbiage at the top. Some I left and some I didn't. I just trimmed them down. So you could, I did put some white back here just because I uh, glued it down and it was crooked, so I had to take it up and I wanted to cover up my mess. So there you go. There's your tip. Just put some white, white cardstock back there. Um, I had a strip of the blue polka dot left, and I made a little banner here. Some more little glitter snowflakes from the Lawn Fawn Pixie Dust cardstock. There's a magnet closure in this one, and you open it up. I have a tiny little pocket here that I just used um, a strip of the red, made a little tuck spot right here, and another little cut apart that I put on a piece of the blue and white polka dot. So it's actually double matted. You got the black, the blue, and the polka dot, and then you got the cut apart right here. It says Merry Christmas from Arizona. <clears throat> Again, another one of cute little cut aparts is known for the holidays, and I did just glue that down flat because I didn't want to cover up 
I didn't want anything tucked in there so it would cover up my magnet. So on my waterfall, because you know I gotta have a waterfall, I used um, again the three by four cut apart. So the waterfall measures three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I took the green doodlebug paper, layered a piece of white. Actually, I matted my waterfall mechanism on the white first and then glued it down in the center here. So again, there's a magnet closure. And we got a cute little gnome here with this little wheelbarrow full of goodies. And I did, this just represents your photo right here. Another cute one, this is known for the holidays. Again, it's all about the gnomes with this paper, merry and bright, so adorable. And then warm winter wishes with the cute little cactus. So there you go, everybody. That is my cute little project that I created specifically for Scraps of Love. It's my last project I'm gonna be teaching for the year 2019. And this is my Christmas present to them. So what's gonna be included in the kit? Um, you'll need to contact the store and find out and get all the details on how to sign up. But there you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.